When I wake up in the morning and I'm in the morning and then I'm gonna lift some weights. Then I go to the store and get something to eat. And at the end of the day, I'm gonna beast her cheeks. It's alright, cause it's Baba Tuesday. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. I am your host, Baba Tuesday. Today is January. Oh, June. Today is June. 2nd 2016 January shit we going back in time and my Marty McFly you know doc doc we gotta go back doc yo so uh uh Mufford and Sons and shit blaring I'm blaring Mufford and Sons this morning no but check it out uh I uh before I get started I'd like to thank uh, my provider. Thank you for waking me up today. Thank you for allowing me to drop some gems on these fools. Now, since I got that all said and done, man, today I was supposed to hit back, mid and lower back, and triceps. Yeah, I overslept. Um, I did not hear the alarm. Whatever the case is, I did not work out this morning. I'm probably going to rest today. And then we'll pick back up tomorrow and then hit what I was supposed to do today on Saturday. Um, damn. Hey, let's see what else is on. Uh, Nick in the deep. When you're talking in your sleep. Have you ever dated somebody and you felt like they was holding back secrets, like they was cheating on you and shit? Yeah, man, it's just crazy. I'm not saying be paranoid or whatnot. I like to, I don't like to jump to conclusions, so I try to gather up all the information I can if that is the case. If I feel like something is going on, I will end the relationship right there. Just, just because, don't get me wrong, like, you could just tell by the mannerisms and how people act in certain situations that you just naturally pick up, you know? Um, hell like damn gas is 229 but anyways i don't know i just work off of intuition and i feel like yo like i don't want to waste your time i don't want you to waste my time you know um i understand that you know i understand from my pers from a deuce perspective i can see i've heard stories and i and i can I, I can't understand, but I don't understand how somebody can just uh, be go through a whole lot of bullshit because their uh, their partner is like really really attractive, or they got really really good um, um, sexual experience. You know, me listen, man. I understand that the world is filled with ladies. So if it's not going to be working out, if it's not going to work out, because if I'm in a relationship, like I'm gonna put 110 percent in it, right? After we come up with agreements and everything, and depending on where I'm at in my life, right? So if we don't discuss like if, if she's stepping out behind my my back or whatnot. Hmm. I might as well just if we can't discuss and have those hard conversations and then if you want to be a child and try to sneak and shit behind my back, then I'm gone. I would never be the one that like I I don't I don't see myself like risking my freedom over some chick because she's stepping out behind my back. Does that make any sense? I just, I never understood that logic because I can, like if she cheats on me, let's say she cheats on me with some other dude and I retaliate by trying to, you know, kill or hurt that dude, 
and I go to prison. Guess what? Guess, guess who? Guess, guess what? Now, now I put myself in a position where I'm gonna have to fight off dudes. You know, uh, I'm gonna have to fight off dudes the rest of my life. And she's over here still doing what she does. That makes no sense at all. Yeah, what's going on? You know what I mean? So just don't be, don't risk your freedom over no pootie tank. That's stupid. Shit. Forget that, man. It's not me. And I don't want to put myself in that position either. That's why, like, I'm very short and sweet when it comes to the ladies. Like, yo, I'm... Like, are you seeing anybody? Like, are you together with anybody? This is all I want. If you can't agree with that, that's fucking, that's cool. I'm cool with that. We didn't waste each other's time. That's a, that's awesome. Especially at this point in my life, I gotta stay super duper focused. <laughs> Make sure this goddamn train. I'm scared, man. I see Final Destinations. You ain't getting me, son. But I don't know if I mentioned this, but Final Destination. Like, I realized in the middle of the first movie that, like, yo, death is, like, nobody lives forever. So no matter what, I, we know how this movie's going to end. I think I mentioned that already. Uh, what's going on? Man, I'm trying to think of this, man. What that hip-hop hit? Hip-hop hit. No, but, man, listen. I've been through a lot. Like, I got people out here who owe me, like, some serious money. Like, crazy, but, I mean, it is what it is. Sometimes it's hard to let go. Like, you'll battle so much, and it'll just take so much out of you. You know what I mean? It takes your spirit out of you. Sometimes you have to just sit back and just let shit happen. And um, and then you have to realize, yo, is this shit worth fighting for? You know what I mean? Because like, Lord, like when you get in the deeper shit, in the in the in the, deep in the shit, like man, you gotta pay like fucking lawyers. You gotta pay. Like, shit is just set up for money to just be drained, you know? Shit, man. So that's why I try to um, be as honest with people when I'm working with them as possible. And um, and I always protect my neck. You know what I mean? There's a honey dip getting a Tahoe right now. Baby. That college boy. No, but um, I don't know what the fuck. I'm just gibbering and jabbering and jabbering and gibbering. Anyways, man, you guys take care. I got a long day ahead. Um, yeah. Shout out to Zach. I had dinner with Zach. Homie from uh, college and shit. And we're going to start doing some skits and shit. So uh, shout out to him. Um, anyways, you guys take care. I got to go get some gum. And I'm probably going to use their cologne in this Walmart because I'm a savage. But anyways, you guys take care. Um, teach people how to treat you. Um, in the pursuit of happiness, you should be able to help people out and help them get to where they're going to. That's what I believe. But anyways, um, know your self-worth. Teach people how to treat you. We can help out other people, but don't let people take advantage of you. Um, with that said, I'm going to say this. Learn as much as you can. Become your own guru. Because nobody knows your body better than you do. I am your host, Bye Bye Tuesday. I hope you guys can see me because I'm all in all black. And I'm black as shit. I'm like a... I'm, I'm, sh I'm a shade under Wesley Snipes and Don Cheadle. Anyways, you guys take care. Peace. I'm out. Let's see. We can't end on. What song is this? Oh, Drake. Oh, shit.
Can't end on that. What song are we gonna end on? Fuck. We need to end up on some... Tomorrow we're gonna end up. Is this tomorrow Braxton? We're gonna end up on this. All right, you guys. <laughs> Peace out.